Hi everyone, in today's episode, we're talking about breaking isolation. Men are never at their best when they're disconnected. I'm gonna show you how to get connected today. We haven't met yet, my name is Andrew. For nearly 30 years, I've had the privilege of helping people from all walks of life, training them, mentoring them, and that's what this channel's all about, helping men to become the best that they can become. Let's go to today's episode now. If you managed to watch the previous episode, you'll remember we talked about breaking the silence. This is the thing that stops the slide and gets us going in the right direction. Well, in this episode today, we are talking about another vital subject, breaking the isolation. Let's talk about that for a minute or two. What do I mean when I say breaking the isolation? Well, one of the greatest problems we see when mental health in middle-aged men is declining, we also see running alongside that, we see men that are isolated. They're isolated from friendship, they're isolated from positive influences, they're isolated in their social time, even isolated in the workspace where they're kind of in their own little bubble, doing life on their own, and it's not good for them. There's a famous saying that goes like this, a man who isolates himself rages against all best wisdom. In other words, it's our design. We've been wired by our creator to need connection and connectedness. Nobody goes anywhere in life without relationships helping them to be who they are and to get where they're trying to go. See, I've got this theory that goes like this, that there are pieces of my future and pieces of my purpose that are actually lodged in the lives of other people. If I don't make those connections, how can I possibly marry up with everything that I'm supposed to be? If that bears out as true, we can start to understand why it's so, so crucial for middle-aged men to break the isolation. This is why I'm always advocating for guys to find a brotherhood somewhere. Now, I'm talking about a brotherhood that's a positive influence. That can happen in the workspace, it can happen in the sports space, it can happen in the church space, the neighborhood space. It doesn't really matter where it takes place, but middle-aged men desperately need to have friendship and connection with other middle-aged men. Why? First of all, we can get collective learnings from one another. We find out about other people's story. We hear about their journey. We figure out and we learn where did they fall into potholes? Where did they make good choices? Where did they manage to make decisions that got them going on the right track and help them to avoid some of those places where we can sometimes get stuck? So we've got collective learnings. We get encouragement by being in a brotherhood where other people can say, stick at it, don't give up. And we get the chance to have shared struggles. We can resonate in a place that is healthy, resonate with other guys and realize I'm not the only one that's going through the challenges that I'm going through. It's so, so important for middle-aged men to break the isolation, find brotherhood and share those conversations. Remembering that our first point in this whole series was this idea of breaking the silence. Once we've broken the silence, we then need to break the isolation and our conversations begin to flow and begin to flourish in a natural environment, the safety of other men who know the journey we're on and are trying to get to the same goals that we're trying to get to. So I wanna urge you, have a think. Who is it in your life? Maybe you've got some already. Maybe you're not sure, but you need to have a think. Who have I got within reach of my life right now that I could begin to build stronger connection with and start to realize that in isolation, I'm never going to be at my best. In fact, it's this strong that right in the beginning of time, this statement is declared over all of us that says it is not good, it is never good for men to be alone. Nobody is at their best on their own. Everybody is at their best in connection and in relationship. And I want you to simply take on board that one practical tip. You don't have to answer all of the how, Try to digest the what first, which is breaking the isolation, reaching out to someone. Maybe you even need to reach out to someone that you haven't spoken to for a long time. An old friend from school or college, 
an old friend that you used to play sport with, you used to jam on your music with, whoever it is, find that guy that you can actually have connection with. And I can tell you now, it will do you good to have those connections outside of your home, outside of your workspace, outside of your marriage, and even away from your children. All of these relationships matter, but it's so crucial that you make the choice, cross that bridge, and build some connection with others so that you can break the isolation. I know for me, the greatest uh, joy that I've had in friendships is building connection with other guys who are in a similar phase of life to me, where we can share struggle, we can resonate with each other about the learnings we're having, and we can encourage one another to stick at it and stay on track. If you're isolated right now, go ahead, make the choice, do something about it today, it will do you good. I want you to stick with it for this whole series. We're talking about practical things that can help boost the level of mental health strength for our middle-aged men. In our next episode, we're gonna be talking about restoring purpose, and I can't wait to get into that subject with you. If you haven't done so yet, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be on this subject forever, <laughs> helping middle-aged men to be stronger. Subscribe, leave a like, maybe drop a comment, and in the comments, you could share some of your story, ask a question, make a suggestion, all of those things would be great, and we can build up a community here of men who are helping one another to get stronger. I'm so glad you're here. I'll see you in the next episode.